Hey Vactionistas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is 31 Days of Halloween, which is a new Halloween tutorial every single day for 31 days. Somebody please help me, I'm dying. Today's tutorial is obviously a snake, and I messed up a whole bunch of times, and we're going to use this tutorial to learn from my mistakes. So I'm applying a white face paint to my face, which is by Mayron, which is water activated, and then I'm going over it with this cream by Mayron. Do not do that. It sounds like a good idea. You have to set it extremely with loose powder. And it gets too cakey and it starts to crack and it's just not fun. So I'm using Bioderma, which is a makeup remover, which is my fave. And I'm putting that on a towel and I am now going to wipe away any excess product to get this overall shape that I wanted. And I did it and I made it way too thin. So then I had to make it big again, which is my first oopsie of this tutorial. There's like seven in here. So I was just not feeling it. Today was not a great filming day. Anyway, so I'm taking black face paint and I'm creating this little like snake-like sharp uh, wing liner point in my eyebrows with a tart liner brush and then with a black uh eyeshadow i'm going over that into my entire eyebrow which i then made way too big right here <laughs> and then i'm going to wing that um eyebrow out to my forehead to be a little bit of a snake mark and that's me realizing that i made it way too big <laughs> but um first i'm just sharpening off the point with that angled brush and then we're going to continue on to make the entire eyebrow and then we're going to curve it up and then we're going to curve it up wrong so now we're going to go in a little bit straighter and then we're going to remove all that so yeah mm-hmm don't do that either. So then you kind of look like this. Geisha princess. Now I'm going in with the uh, NYX eyeshadow in Over the Taupe. And I am going to sketch out these snake lines. This is also a mistake. Don't do that. Just go right in with black face paint. You should be okay when it comes to lines. Because I was like second guessing my ability to make each side even. Which they weren't perfectly even. But it came out okay. But um, I do the cheek with just straight up black face paint and one it cuts the entire tutorial in half it cuts the makeup process time in half there's really no need to sketch it out just kind of go in with a fine liner brush with black face paint so i'm going in with this purple eyeshadow by makeup geek the color is escaping me it'll be linked down below and i'm going to shade only one side of each snake scale so i picked the bottom what you're seeing as the bottom right which i would be when i'm looking in the mirror i would see it as the bottom left and depending on which side. So anyway, I'm going in with a black face paint now and re-sketching out or enhancing these lines with black face paint, which you guys should just do right away. I'm blowing through this step because I show you on the cheekbone the much easier way to do it. So I'm adding a little bit of black eyeshadow too, and I'm doing it a little bit too ham. So I end up going in and buffing it all out and then adding more purple and blah, 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 blah. So we're just going to speed past this and we're going to go into how to do it better when you guys see the cheekbone. But right now... I'm going with a mixture of purple and black face paint, and I'm just applying it to all those scales to add dimension. So this is how you should do it. Go in with the black face paint and just sketch out these scale-like marks, which is what you see me doing here. And I'm doing that on both sides. Get them as even as possible, but being even is not super important. And then I'm going in with the purple eyeshadow, and I'm applying that to one side of the scale. So you guys can see me doing that to each and every single one. And this is one solid clip. This is exactly how long it took me. And then from there, I'm going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow. A very, not very pigmented at black eyeshadow. You want it to be too black. And I'm going to go in and deepen up some of those lines. And then you're going to lose some of the purple. So go back in with the purple again. Same with like a smoky eye. And go over all of that with the purple. And you get a nice smooth transition. And then sketch out the entire face. Boom. So now we're going to go into the eye. I'm doing a cut crease. So with my eye open, I'm finding where my crease lays. And I'm going to apply that purple in a winged out shape and blend as I go. Do that to the inner corner as well, and you should get it around the entire eye. So this is what fits my eye. Everyone's eye is different, so kind of play with what works. But I'm going with a black gel liner now, and I'm applying that to my eyelid. This one's by Tarte, if you guys want to know. I think it's the Tartiest or something, clay, something. But um, I'm going in, and I'm making a wing liner on the outer and inner corner, which, boom, kill shot, wing liner. You guys make it seem so hard. Just kidding. I've like never done a wing liner on myself before, ever. But um, so now with the black eyeshadow, we are going to buff out that stark line and blend it as we go. You see me? You feel me? And then again, we're going to lose a little bit of purple, so go back in with that purple again and bluff it, bluff it, <laughs> buff it up right on top. You see me? You feel me? And then we're going to set the entire lid, which is a gel liner because it's sticky. We're going to set that with black eyeshadow and then blend that all throughout as well. Does that make sense? You don't have to worry about the cleanliness of the inner corner or the outer wing because we're going to sharpen that up later. But then I'll, I'm applying that same liner to my lower lash line. And this is why a cream uh, face paint is not a good idea because every time I touch my face to uh, stretch my eye or anything, it takes the makeup right off. And I have to keep touching it up over and over again. But buff the lower lash line out the same way we did everything else. 
So now with that same cream by Mehran, I am using that now to uh, sharpen up the inner and outer corner. So I'm just going to sharpen up that inner corner, and I got black eyeshadow on my nose, and then I took off my face paint by trying to get it off. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and we're going to do the same thing to the uh, outer wing. And then I'm just going to apply it in all the areas where I came off my face from touching my face. Like, this took me like three hours. I think maybe four. It was just too much. It was not my day. You know what I'm saying? But then I, I pat it in. I'm going to apply wet face paint to the part of my face that is not painted. And I'm going to use black eyeshadow to contour that bad boy. And then we're going to go in with black face paint. And then we're going to cover the ears and the neck and contour the jawline with that as well. But then that's the finished tutorial, my friends. I hope you guys liked it. Oh, just kidding. God, I seriously don't even watch my own videos. I'm going to create a little bit of uh, snake nose, which I did four times because I kept messing it up. But that's the entire tutorial, my friends. I hope you guys liked it. Today wasn't my best filming day, and I've never done any a look like this before, so go easy on me. But I also want to let you guys know that the Faction Lash is officially 30% off if you use coupon code faction halloween so that's all the way up until november 1st so if you want to get the faction last which is what you see here use faction halloween or you can use the coupon code faction to get 20 percent off of all the other lashes that new buns themselves and they are gorgeous and i love them but that's the finished look my friends and that's everything i have to tell you so far but i will see you guys tomorrow night and definitely follow me on social media and stuff and i will see you guys later bye friends